What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to day 34 of On Shape. Today we're working on uh, our tolerance blocks and how to put in tolerances when we do our dimensions. It's actually pretty short to do. Uh, however, what we're going to do today is we're actually going to make the tolerance block and then throw in those dimensions as we need. So the first thing I'm going to do here is uh, start a new drawing, sorry, a new part studio. And this is going to be the final product we're looking for. So we're going to click on plus, create part studio. <coughs> And then we're going to click on sketch. Now what I'm going to do is uh, do some everything I want to on one sketch to make the best, most use of our time. And so what we're going to do here is I'm going to hit R for rectangle. And we're going to just draw a simple rectangle. So the dimension out here is going to be 2 inches. It's a 2 inch block. 2 inches by 2 inches. Okay. And then the next thing that we're going to be working on and looking at specifically is that first point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, to put a point in approximately where I want it to be, but then we're also going to dimension it. So using D in our keyboard, we're going to dimension this distance here to be a quarter inch, and this distance here to be a quarter inch. Okay. Now, everything is going to be based off pretty symmetrically um, off of, I would say not symmetrically, but a pattern off of this, this first power here. So what I'm going to say is I'm going to click on linear pattern and of this single point. And one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this down because I want the points to go down and across. Now, it can be a little difficult on navigating through all the numbers here. So actually, if you want to go ahead and just drag this out of the way for now, figure out these first dimensions here. For across the x direction. So I'm going to just, uh, the spacing here is going to be a half inch, and there's going to be four instances. And then I'm going to come and bring this on down. This dimension right here is going to be a half inch again. We're going to try that one more time. Actually, let's just drag it and make it say half inch. So we're going to drag it to where it says half inch. There we go. And Instead of two instances, we're going to double click on this and we're going to make it four. Hit the check mark and there we go. We now have a grid pattern on our block that we're going to use to put in our letters, to also put in our holes. So on this sketch, I'm going to double click on the sketch and get back into it. I'm actually also going to zoom in and, and throw in my first text right here. So I'm going to draw in approximately the size of my first letter. And that's going to be the, the or sorry, number number one. And I found out if I actually just keep hitting enter and then typing in the rest of my characters, when I then clicked the check mark, they fell in kind of approximately where I really want them to go. And so, oh, this one looks to be a little bit large. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going actually going to shrink this down just a little bit. I am asking a lot of my computer right now, so let's see if I can do it. I don't want to move it around. Actually, let's move it around just a little bit. And then let's also change our size. So this dimension right here, 0.37. Let's try a quarter inch. And that looks a whole lot better. So the, the height of just one of my lines is a quarter inch. I'm going to drag this one around until it's about the center of my number right here. Now we could dimension it, but I want to don't spend, want to spend too much time on this video. You could make this very specific and kind of align perfectly. I'm just going to move on. I'm going to hit the green check mark, and now we're okay. We've got my numbers lined up approximately where uh, each of those rows are going to be. So now we're going to extrude this. And when I extrude this, you notice that a couple things are going to happen. Is that my 4 is not quite right, because that's because my 4 has a complete cutout. So you can, if you want to, go ahead and bring this part in. But since it's not touching, it's going to have to be a separate you can fix that if you want to, but like I said, I don't want to make this video too long. So we're going to extrude that to a depth of 0.25 inches, and we're looking good from there. Now, what I said is I want to use my first sketch over and over and over again to make the most benefit of my time. So we're going to make sketch one active. And my holes, or at least my placement for my holes, are still here. So what I'm going to do now is just click on hole, and we can click on this center hole right here is going to be a simple through hole with a diameter of 0 0.185. We then hit the check mark, 
and we're just going to keep putting holes in. So the one to the left of the center is 0 0.18. Hit the green check mark. Now since all of my holes are actually different dimensions, we do have to do individual holes. This is going to be 0 0.19. So I started my center hole has a diameter of 0.185 and then to the left is a five thousandths of an inch smaller so this is 0 0.18 and the one to the right is five thousandths of an inch bigger so 0 0.19 okay so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add in the rest of our holes so the center hole here for this one is 0 0.2 and we're just gonna keep on going from here so this is uh, 0 0.195 and this is going to be the probably the, the most tedious part but hopefully it should be pretty straightforward 0. Point, and I say that right when I make a mistake of course there we go 0 0.205 this one's going to be a dimension of 0 0.220 and then this center hole right here is 0 0.225 and I'm just going to keep on going so 0 0.225 <coughs> excuse me 0 0.230 we are almost done folks 0 point that's 245 0 0.25. Oh, I think I made that last hole a little wrong. Yeah, it's 245. It's supposed to be 225. Come on, there we go, Mr. Williams. No, that's right. 245, 25, and now the last one's going to be 255. There we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we now have our tolerance block of we have our center, our nominal dimensions, then we have five thousandths of an inch smaller, and then five thousandths of an inch larger. Okay, so now let's click on this little plus right here. Actually, what I'm getting the habit of now is renaming what each of these parts are. So we're gonna call this tolerance block. And this one's for the video, so I'm gonna call it toler tolerance block video. Okay, so now let's go ahead and um, click on the plus sign, create a drawing. We're going to use our school title block. We've been in inches, so we're going to stay in inches, and we're going to click OK. Now, the first thing that the problem is that sometimes when I design my parts, my top is not actually my front view, or my front view is not actually my front view, my top is going to be my front view. So when I bring this part in, I'm like, uh oh, that's not right. So what you can do is there's kind of two different ways to fix this. We can double click on this projection and we can change the orientation to what we need it to be to be actually the correct front view and so that looks good I'm gonna go ahead and actually let's just bump up this ratio oh, bump it up and bump it down two to one there we go hit the green check mark let's go ahead and project this up a little bit so we can see the thickness of our object all right now let's add in our dimensions. So we're going to dimension this thickness right here. It's 0.25 inches. We have our height and we have our width. Next thing we're going to do is I'm only going to dimension the center holes here. And that's because since this is a tolerance block, we know what my dimensions are plus or minus some of those tolerances. I'm going to actually move that because I don't like how it's interacting with that one. There we go. So I hit dimension. We clicked on the circle like we've done before. However, there's a little bit of a new setting we've never really looked at. And that's when you click on a dimension, there's this little indicator of tolerance that pops up. It kind of looks like uh, plus or minus one with the dimension. So we have our diameter, 0.25. Now, if we click the third drop down here, it'll give us a couple different options. This is a bilateral tolerance, so in Onshape it's called a symmetrical tolerance. So we click on symmetrical, 
and it was plus or fi minus five thousandths of an inch. We then hit enter, or sorry, click out of it. There we go, and we're done. There is our tolerance on our drawing file. So now what we're gonna do is we're just going to do our other ones as well. So symmetrical with a five thousandth of a tolerance. Click out of there, and then we just keep on going. Symmetrical, five thousandths of the tolerance. Click out of it. I'm still in dimension mode. So this allows me to click on this circle for dimension, tolerance it to five thousandths of an inch one more time. All right, and like every drawing file, we should have an isometric view, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's do a projected. Oh, I don't know, let's get that out of there. Let's do a projected of this view. It's gonna be quite large, which is okay. Because all I'm gonna do is double click on this. We're gonna bump down that scaling. And there we go. Last thing we need to do is right click, show shaded view. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen, we have done our drawing file for our tolerance block, including the bilateral tolerance from that center line of circles. Okay, if you have any questions, let me know. Until then, I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.